free and college basketball picks. This is action here for Saturday, January 7th. Tony T here with our college basketball pick show here for Saturday action. Uh, we have 15 games. Before we get into just a couple of things, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free and college basketball picks are updated all season long. We load tons of free picks to our channel, so it is a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel and like this video, give us that thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Then visit TonySpicks.com. We are a multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the links to the hot cappers. Get signed up to some of our long-term passes. You'll see some of our top cappers like Ramona up here. probably has been on absolute fire. Tiffany, Mindy, Nick. Click the links. Get signed up. You'll find premium picks here at the center of our page. Our best bets. Well, each capper can release one best bet per sport per day. Many up there here for Saturday's big card. Also, $15 premium picks are promotional. Each capper can designate one play from their card as a $15 premium pick. Just introduce their service to new and existing customers. Our three packs offer great value. We'll have plenty up there for you for Saturday. And if you prefer, if you'd like to buy a picks a la carte, check out our pick ticker with team versus team information buying picks a la carte. You can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code TONYT at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link you see there in the description. Click the All Capper tab and then get signed up. Always love to hear from you guys, so post your picks in the comments. You can apply it as a capper on our site. And we do put our picks up in podcast form on our shows as well. It's Tony's Picks Podcast. A search on all major platforms. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Notre Dame versus North Carolina College Basketball Pick here for action on Saturday. Notre Dame, a mark of 8-7 and seven overall. 0-4 in the ACC. Road conference losses came by 7 at Boston College and by 1 at Florida State. Fine Ivers shoots well from three in the ACC at 37%. On defense, they don't uh, force turnovers and give up 60% shooting inside. Notre Dame has defended the perimeter in the ACC by allowing 24% from beyond the arc. Notre Dame, I should say North Carolina, they're 10 and five overall, two and two in the ACC. Home conference wins by uh, uh, to Georgia Tech by 16 and to Wake Forest by nine. Tar Heels though have struggled in the ACC on the offensive glass and hitting just 29% from three. <clears throat> Good shooting team around the bucket at 57%. Tar Heels defensively in the ACC has given up 37, 34% from three, 55% inside. Both teams defending poorly in conference play. The play here will be on Notre Dame and North Carolina over 144 and a half. Kansas versus West Virginia. College basketball pick here for Saturday. Kansas, a mark of 3-1 on the year, 2-0 in the Big 12. Jayhawks have a road win at Texas Tech by 3. Texas, I'm sorry, the team sits 13th in offensive efficiency in the nation by hitting 37% from 3, 54% around the bucket. Uh, they force turnovers on defense, allow 45% shooting inside. You know, West Virginia, 10-4 overall, 0-2 in the Big 12. Mountaineers' conference losses came on the road to Kansas State in overtime by 6 and at Oklahoma State by 7. Mountaineers, good shooting team that converts 36% from three, 53% inside. They force turnovers on defense and limit teams to 31% from three, 49% around the bucket. Jayhawks in their road games shooting 53% with 46% from three and holding teams to 44% overall. Mountaineers shooting just 39% in conference. The play here will be on Kansas set minus one and a half. Arkansas versus Auburn. College basketball pick here for Saturday. Arkansas is 12-2 this season, 1-1 in the SEC. They have a road loss at LSU by three. The Razorbacks' strength is on defense, where they hold opponents at 29% from three, 47% inside. They force turnovers and fourth in the nation in defensive efficiency. The team struggles from three, shooting 30%, but hits 56% around the bucket. Auburn, 11-3 overall, 1-1 one one in the SEC. They have a home win to Florida by three. Tigers struggle with turnovers and convert only 29% from three. Weak at the free throw line at 67%. Auburn 16th in defensive efficiency by allowing 27% from three and 45% around the bucket. Razorbacks in their lone true road game shot only 37% and 16% from three. Play here will be on Auburn at minus one and a half. Xavier versus Villanova college basketball pick here for Saturday. Xavier, a mark of 12-3 and 4-0 and and in the Big East. Musketeers have road wins in conference at Georgetown by 13. Then they went into uh, St. John's and win by 5. The team has shot well in conference, 39% from 3, 56% inside. Defense has been an issue as they're giving up 35% from beyond the arc and 51% around the bucket. 
Villanova 8-7 and seven on the year, 2-2 two and two in the Big East. Wildcats at home in conference has a 15-point a win to St. John's and a loss by two to Marquette. Wildcats in Big East play struggle on the offensive glass at the three-point line where they make just 32%. They don't force turnovers in conference but limit teams to 29% from three, 47% around the bucket. In their true road games, the Musketeers are shooting 50%, 44% from three. The play here will be on Xavier plus the two and a half. Kentucky versus Alabama college basketball pick here for Saturday. Kentucky, they are 10-4 and four on the season, 1-1 one and one in the SEC. They have a road defeat at Missouri, 89-75. Wildcats, a good offensive team that hits 39% from three and strong on the glass. On defense, they hold teams of 45% around the bucket. Alabama sits at 12-2 overall, 2-0 in the SEC. A home 22-point win to Ole Miss. Clemson tied 20th in offensive efficiency as they rebound and shoot 52% around the bucket. A good defensive team that sits 7th in the nation in effective field goal percentage. Alabama holds opponents to 28% from 3, 43% around the bucket. Wildcats in their true road games, allowing 49% shooting and 40% from 3. Their other true road game resulted in a 16-point loss at Gonzaga, Alabama, 7-0 at home, holding teams to 36% shooting overall, 26% from 3. Play here will be on Alabama at minus 5.5. Kansas State versus Baylor college basketball pick here for Saturday. Kansas State 13-1 overall, 2-0 in the Big 12. The Wildcats have a road win at Texas, 116-103 uh, in a wild game. They are shooting 35% from three, 54% inside. They force turnovers on defense and hold opponents at 31% from three, along with 48% from around the bucket. Baylor 10-4, 0-2 in the Big 12, a one-point loss at home to TCU. The Bears sit 18th in offensive efficiency behind rebounding and 36% shooting from three and 55% around the bucket. They force turnovers and average and an average team uh, guarding the goal. Baylor has uh, been defending poorly against the Big 12, got given up 49% in their conference games. Play here will be on Kansas State at plus the six and a half. Iowa State versus TCU. College basketball pick here for Saturday. Iowa State 11-2 on the year. 2-0 in the Big 12. Cyclones have a road three-point win at Oklahoma. And the uh, above-average shooting team converting 34% from three, 52% inside. Best in the nation in forcing turnovers on defense. Plus, they limit opponents to 30% from three, 47% from inside. TCU, they're 13-1. 2-0 in conference. The Horned Frogs, a home conference win to Texas Tech by six. Or Frog's strong rebounding team on offense. They make 57% inside. Weak three-point shooting team, though, at 29%. Good defensive team that forces turnovers, plus a loss 30% from three and a 44% around the bucket. The Cyclones, though, have shot and defended well in conference. And we'll, and this is just too many points in this spot. Play here will be Iowa State plus six and a half. Oklahoma versus Texas Tech. College basketball pick here for action on Saturday. Oklahoma, a record of 9-5, 0-2 in the Big 12. Both conference losses at home. Sooners, ninth in the nation in effective field goal shooting, hitting 39% from three, 56% inside. On defense, the Sooners rebound, guard the perimeter by allowing 28% from beyond the arc. They don't force turnovers and allowing 49% around the bucket. Texas Tech, a 10-4 team, 0-2 in the Big 12. The Red Raiders have a three-point home loss to Kansas. They shoot well by hitting 37% uh, from Three fifty-seven percent inside. They do they do struggle with turnovers. Red Raiders a good defensive team that forces turnovers and allows thirty-one percent from three, along with forty-six percent inside the arc. Sooners in their two road game shot forty-eight percent, forty-three percent from three. So the play here will be on Oklahoma plus the five and a half. Michigan versus Michigan State college basketball pick here for Saturday. Michigan State 9-5 on the season, 3-0 in the Big Ten. Wolverines have a road 15-point win at Minnesota. They uh, secured the basketball, plus they hit 35% from three. Michigan struggle on the offensive glass and free throw line. The team averaged pretty much an average offensive team, giving up 32% from three, 48% inside. Michigan State 10-4 overall, 2-1 in conference. The Spartans a home 
a Big Ten win to Nebraska by 19, a loss by 7 in early December to Northwestern. Spartans shoot well from 3, 37%, but only 48% around the bucket. They, uh, they don't force a lot of turnovers on defense. Spartans effective, though, on the defensive glass and holding teams to 30% from 3, 47% inside. Wolverines in their own road game shot well, but allowed 49% shooting, 40% from 3. Spartans defending well in, in the Big Ten, holding teams to 39% shooting. Play here will be on Michigan State. Here in this one, minus 4. Clemson versus Pittsburgh College basketball pick here for Saturday. Clemson sits at 12 and 3 overall, 4-0 in the ACC. Road wins at Georgia Tech uh, for uh, for the Tigers and, and at Virginia Tech. The Tigers struggle in the ACC with turnovers and on the offensive glass. They are shooting 35% from three, 52% inside. That's against the conference now. They make 91% of their free throw in, in the ACC. In the ACC. Now, Clemson, they defend well in conference with rebounding 28% from three and 39% around the bucket. Now, Pittsburgh, 11-4, 4-0 in the ACC. Conference home wins to North Carolina and Virginia, all as underdogs. Pitt has been solid scoring inside in conference, making 57%. They make 78% the free throw line in conference and only 30% from three on defense. They hold ACC foes to about 30% from three and 50% around the bucket. Clemson shooting 43% in their two road games. Turnover is an issue for the Tigers, as is their rebounding on the glass. Pittsburgh's strength inside the key area. Play here will be Pittsburgh at minus 2.5. Creighton versus Connecticut. College basketball pick here for Saturday. Creighton has a record of 9-6 and six this season. They are 3-1 and one in the Big East with a road loss at Marquette by 11. Blue Jays are our top shooting team against the Big East, hitting 42% from three to 59% inside. They're also tops in effective field goal defense by allowing over 26% from three and 45% shooting from the field. Turnovers has been an issue in conference. Connecticut is 11-14-2 on the year, 3-2 and two in conference. Wins at home in the Big East to Georgetown by 11, Villanova by 8. Average shooting team in conference at 32% from three, 49% inside. On defense, the Huskies hold Big East teams to 29% from three, 47% around the bucket. Blue Jays got their big man back, Cog Brenner, uh, from injury and has won three straight all by double digits. Hus Husky shooting formally 41% in conference. Play here will be on Creighton at plus the seven. Oregon versus Utah. College basketball pick here for Saturday. Oregon sits at eight and seven this season. 2-2 two two in the Pac-12, the Ducks on the road as losses at UCLA by 9 and Colorado by 27. The team has struggled offensively in the Pac-12 with rebounding, 20% shooting from 3, 68% at their free throw line. On defense, they struggle on the glass plus allow 34% from 3. Utah, a mark of 12-4, 5-0 in the Pac-12, home wins to Arizona by 15 and Oregon State by 19. Utes top in defensive efficiency in the Pac-12 by allowing 29% uh, 23% from three, 45% inside. On uh, defense, they shoot 34% from the field, uh, from three, I should say, and 51% overall. Ducks, road performance, hold your nose. That's how, that's how the road positions have been. Newt's at home shooting 48%, 39% from three. Player will be on Utah at minus the five and a half. San Diego State versus Wyoming. College basketball pick here for Saturday. San Diego State 11-3 on the year. 2-0 in the Mountain West. The road 9-point win at UNLV. Aztecs average shooting team that hits 34% from 3, 51% around the bucket. They force turnovers on defense and hold opponents at 30% from 3 and 49% around the bucket. Wyoming has a mark of 5-9. 0-2 in the Mountain West. A conference home loss to, by 1 to New Mexico. Strong shooting team inside as they make 54%. Good on the defensive glass, but allows 52% shooting around the bucket. Aztec shooting well on the road at 48%, 45% from three, facing Stanford and UNLV. Wyoming has three losses at home, including loss, including there are eight to Grand Canyon and losing losing to uh, Southeast Louisiana as well. The play here will be on San Diego State at minus eight and a half. Wisconsin versus Illinois college basketball pick here for Saturday. 
Wisconsin 11 and 2 this year, 3 and 0 in the Big 10. They have a road overtime win at Iowa. Badgers secured the basketball, made 38% from three. Weak on the offensive glass and with two point shooting here at the 46%. Wisconsin 20th in the nation in defensive efficiency by allowing 30% from three, 49% around the bucket. Illinois, a mark of 9 and 5. 0 and 3 in the Big 10. Final line a home loss to Penn State by 15. The team really struggles with turnovers. They make only 32% from three. Strong on the offensive glass and inside where they hit 57%. They do force turnovers on defense and limit teams to 42% shooting. But the Badgers also notched a road win at Marquette by three in overtime. They are shooting 51%, nearly 37% from three in their two road games. Illinois and Conference shooting just under 43%. Play here will be on Wisconsin at plus the seven. Gonzaga versus Santa Clara college basketball pick here for Saturday. Gonzaga 13-3, 2-0 in the WCC, a conference road win at San Francisco. Bulldogs are fifth in offensive efficiency in the nation as they shoot 37% and a 57% inside. Weakness is defending around the hoop. Santa Clara 14-4 this season, 2-1 in the WCC, a home win to San Francisco by 12 and a loss by 3 to St. Mary's. Broncos. Offensively rebound, they shoot 36% from three. Strong defensively on the glass and in the interior where they allow 48% shooting, uh, and that, although they do give up 35% from the on the arc. Road and neutral side games, the Bulldogs have failed to cover seven of nine. In two WCC games, the Bulldogs are, are, are giving up 49% shooting. Santa Clara in conference shooting 46%, holding teams of 42% shooting. The player will be on Santa Clara at plus the eight and a half. All right, that was our college basketball pick show here for Saturday. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Free college basketball picks are updated all season long. We load tons of free picks on our channel, so make sure you subscribe. And, of course, give us that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to visit TonySpicks.com for our premium plays. Our best plays on today's cards are there as well. And use that promo code TONYT at checkout, and you'll save, 15, uh, you'll save 20% off. I'm Tony T. We'll be back later with more free picks. Our live show morning steam coming up at 9 a.m. Eastern time.